About 50 years ago, armed with the very latest deep space measuring tools, astrophysicist Vera Rubin went about an ambitious task to clear up some uncertainty about the rotation of spiral galaxies in the universe. But her data, Vera noticed, wasn't clearing things up. The Andromeda galaxy was telling her that it didn't need to obey basic laws of motion. Vera looked at another galaxy and saw the same defiance. And another, and another, 60 in all. Every galaxy she measured told her there was something wrong with the basic mechanics of the universe. For a lone astrophysicist having to explain this was a terrifying thought. What Vera had discovered, though, was what some scientists now theorize to be dark matter. Her observations implied that there was an invisible form of matter that fills all of space, something no one has seen or produced direct evidence of, yet it is believed to make up most of the matter in the universe. What did Vera observe? Only that 400 years of observation was wrong, that what astronomer Johannes Kepler first observed as a delicate balance at work in the solar system was completely out of whack for galaxies everywhere in the universe. Lovely. Kepler tells us that the sun's gravity pulls things in that move past it. Move too slowly, the sun swallows them up. Too fast, and the sun's gravity can't hold on. When the motion of the planet and the gravity of the sun are balanced, then a stable orbit becomes the planet's pathway around the sun. But when things are spinning, there's a different calculation we can make about the relationship between two objects. Spin a heavy object around, the faster you spin it, the heavier it seems. Spin it fast enough and the object pulls so hard its force overwhelms us. We lose control and it flies away. And it is in this way that Vera's galaxies behaved strangely. The stars on the outside were spinning so quickly that based on the observable mass, there's no way by the laws of physics they could be kept from spinning off like that ball or tear apart the galaxies altogether. It could very well be that our understanding of the basic mechanics of the universe need to be revised. But Vera realized there was another possibility to consider. If there was more mass than she could account for, a lot more, for holding everything together, the stars in the outer arms of her galaxies could move that quickly and yet stay intact. She looked for the missing mass, she could not find it. Great, something that acts on all the observable matter in the universe, but we can't find it. Was it findable? Or was this something exotic that threatened to explode all of physics? The hunt was on. In the 50 years since Vera's discovery, scientists have puzzled over possible theories of dark matter. The most likely contender is that it is made of a fundamental particle, just like regular matter. If so, how will we find it? What if we don't? Or what if it's not a particle at all? Will scientists have to rethink some of the most basic laws of physics? 